Well, there were, this morning there was a group of us, about uh, seven or eight of us, uh, doing our regular routine with uh, Gary Lightburn, our trainer. And uh, Ms. Judith Robinson Ewing came out in a very unprofessional manner and asked us to leave. Those were the emotional words of Howard Hanfield, a concerned health conscious resident who in past weeks has been utilizing the public sports facilities every morning with his fitness mates. But as of yesterday, he couldn't. As all three sports facilities, the National Stadium, the Gustavus Lightbourne Sports Complex and the downtown ballpark were all shut down. Director of the Sports Commission, Elvin Parker, revealed why. Okay, currently right now, all three of our facilities in Provo is closed due to non-payment of uh, the water bill. And uh, I can assure the public that everything is being done right now from the Ministry as well as the Ministry of, fin the ministry of Education and the Ministry of Finance uh, standpoint to rectify the problem with Provo Water Pro Company. The exact amount of the hefty water bill Parker kept close to his chest, but he did inform News 4 that there were notices put up around the premises. However, based on Hanfield's sentiments, it didn't seem so. I don't think the government or anybody else should uh, want to be closing down facilities that are promoting health. Uh, you know, because a healthy nation costs you less in medical bills. So I think that the, the sports authority should be promoting the use of the facilities, not closing them down. News 4's investigations have revealed that the grass at the National Stadium has not been watered for more than six months. After consultation with the EMS Department and Environmental Health, Parker made the final decision to shut the facilities down. As persons, uh, you know, persons should normally say, well, right now we're getting that we don't use uh, the restrooms, we don't use this, we don't use this and that. But, uh, I mean... You know, you need common sense. If we have public, public facilities and, and they're being used for sporting events and sporting activities, persons are going to use our restrooms. And uh, we all know that by these buildings being public uh, facilities, you can allow them to be open without proper running water. With hopes that the bill will be paid soon, a number of upcoming sporting events may be postponed or forced to utilize Blue Loose portable toilets in the interim if they're willing to rent them. Parker is attempting to take a traditional solution by putting forth a proposal for two 5,000-gallon water tanks for the two downtown sporting facilities and a $40,000 water tank for the National Stadium to the Ministry tomorrow. They also plan to use solar energy lights and to raise funds. Facility users may soon have to pay a small fee. As for the claims made against the Deputy Director of the Sports Commission, Judith Robinson, Parker said... Well, that matter is still being investigated. Uh, a lot of times persons make complaints and before we can uh, answer them, we have to do due diligence so that we can hear and you know, make a good judgment or, or if any uh, decision needs to be made that can result in disciplinary actions or letters being issued to persons asking them to uh, uh, not to return to the facilities or even as far as asking them to uh, whatever actions that you put in place, you have to do your due diligence.